Hi there guys, my name is Ron, and you can learn make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the white background into a digital backdrop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, here we have our first image and here we have the digital backdrop. So before we dive in today's tutorial, please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the model picture and the digital backdrops so first thing first what i'm going to do uh, is that i need to separate the subject from the background so here we have our original image i'm just going to drag and drop this so just drag and drop the background into the plus two times one more time and just turn off others and uh, i'm going to click here on the object selection tool and make sure to check loud details results for better results so i'm just gonna create a selection around the subject just like this and wait until it's done and when it's done just click select and mask i'm gonna zoom in where i want to refine the hair so as you can see we have some uh, white uh, uh, the white from the background so we need to refine that and remove it so click here on the refine edge tool and make sure that the uh, hardest hardness sorry is zero and the spacing is one and just click here where you want to uh, remove that white color of the backdrop or the background just like this so this is the professional way to remove the subject from the background and click ok so here we have our selection and just click here on the layer mask and as you can see the background is removed so zoom in and as you can see we have some uh, uh, missing information about the subject so we are working on a black layer mask so switch uh, this one to the white and click B for brush choose 100% of opacity and 100% flow zoom in as you can see I'm using the soft round uh, default general brush of the Photoshop and uh, make sure to paint and here we have our information back about the subject or the model just like this make sure that you don't do this part uh, especially on the hair because we don't want the hair to look white with the backdrop or the background color so we have just a little here as i said you can zoom in in the parts where you have to bring back the color of the subject just like this so here we have our before and after zoom in and as you can see we need to paint just a little more just like this in case that we need that information back and here we have a gap that we need to remove the color so i'm gonna click here on the pen tool and i'm gonna make a selection around this gap just like this right click and click here on make selection and feather radius pixels i think that i'm gonna go by 0 0.5 click ok and just click control and hold it and backspace and just delete it so here we have a before and after and i think that is looking okay and now that we are done with uh, separating the subject from the background we need to hold shift keyboard and just click here Click here on the move tool and just move uh, them to the digital backdrop or the digital background that you have created or another one that you have. So I'm going to transform this to make it look more realistic. And I think that this one is okay. I'm going to make it just a little smaller. So something like that. So here we have the model and the digital backdrop. And as you can see, the subject doesn't have any shadow and is not looking realistic. So click here and turn on the background copy. As you can see, it's entirely white. But we need to change the blending mode from normal to multiply. So click here on normal and click multiply. So here we have a before and after. You can zoom in. And as you can see, we have some shadows under the subject. And I think that they're looking good, but not that much. So I'm going to click here on the adjustments and click on the levels. Make sure that is a clipping mask. So uh, this one is for the midtones, uh, kind of into shadows and check 
a before and after as you can see we are adding more shadows to the uh, image just like this so here we have a before and after which is looking okay and as you can see these edges are not looking good so we need to remove them so click here on the background copy and click to create a layer mask uh, click b for brush and now we need a black brush and make it larger just to remove these edges and to make this photograph uh look more realistic oops sorry just like this so here we have a before and after what we've done and i think that is looking okay in case that you need to add more shadows to your uh image for example we are going to click here on the background click here on the plus and we have an empty layer click control and hold it and click here on the layer mask subject just like this make sure that underground is uh, black just click control and click backspace to create another uh, layer and it will look like this so this or this one is our shadows and click ctrl t for transform right click and click here that says distort so i'm gonna move these uh, dots just like this and make it uh, like the shadow is uh, leaning in the background just like this and I think that is looking okay now here we have a shadow in a before and after which is looking completely bad because we need to make some more adjustments here so again I will uh, switch the blending mode from normal to soft light and as you can see a before and after which is looking uh, okay but it's kind of too sharp so i'm gonna click here on the filter blur and add some gaussian blur just like this and uh, i think that at this point is looking okay but it, uh, as you can see the shadow uh, is on the water so i'm going to remove that so click here on the layer mask again and create a mask and click b for brush with a black brush into white layer mask we are going to paint it just like this as you can see the shadow is uh, removed by that part that we wanted so here we have so here we have a before and after only of the shadow and i think that is looking okay but as you can see the highlights uh, midtones and shadows are not matching with the subject and the digital backdrop so i'm gonna uh, recreate and uh, i'm going to match the colors of both of them so i'm gonna click here on the background which is our subject i'm gonna click it here and click on the exposure and reduce the exposure just a little but make sure that is not too much so uh, don't forget to click here on the clipping mask so it will affect only this subject as you can see a before and after which is looking okay but with a brush i'm just going to click it here to remove that uh, under exposure from the subject just like this so here we have a before and after which is looking okay but not that much so i'm going to reduce the opacity of entire thing i'm gonna go by 45 and click okay which is okay i think now i'm gonna click again on the adjustments and click here on the curves so i'm gonna drag and drop this to, uh, down to make it look more darker just like this and click control and hold it click here on the layer mask subject and b for brush and i'm just gonna paint it here to remove that um, darker just like this as you can see uh, before and after which is looking okay but we are going to reduce it by 45 now here's the before and after and i think it's okay i'm gonna add a spotlight uh, on the back so i'm gonna create an empty layer here and i think that i'm gonna choose the orange kind of into yellow color and just with a brush i'm just with a soft round general brush i'm gonna paint it here just click and switch the blending mode from normal to soft light or the screen as you can see in the screen we have more uh, highlights so i'm going to reduce it by 45 now create an empty layer again and right now i'm gonna go with a white color so i'm gonna increase this and click so here we have our uh, flare i'm just going to switch the blending mode from normal to screen or to soft light so here we have our soft light layer which is looking okay i'll reduce it just a little now it's time to create uh, some color balance for the subject so i'm going to create here on the adjustments and click on the color balance and as you can see in the background we have 
uh, some kind of yellow red tones something something like that sorry and i think that i'm gonna go to the shadows and increase uh, slide this into the red just a little and into the yellow and make sure that is an, a clipping mess so it's affecting only the subject and as you can see before and after just a little so i'm going to reduce it by 45 click ok now i'm gonna click here on the background and i'm gonna play with the color balance until i think that uh, the subject and the background are kind of into the same thing and this one is looking okay i'm going to reduce it by 50 percent now as you can see the entire thing is looking okay and i'm gonna add some more adjustments to make this uh, image look more realistic but uh, one more thing that we need to add into the today's tutorial is that we need to duplicate the background just drag and drop this to the plus click here on the filter blur gallery and click here that says tilt shift so we need to drag and drop the point uh, to the feet so the model looks uh, perfect so we need to like uh, make um, to add some depth of field into the image so uh, for example we can increase the uh, blur but as you can see it's kind of too much so i'm gonna go by 10 percent or maybe 15 as it was before and just click ok wait until it's done this may, might take some time so here we have a before and after and i think that is looking okay now i'm gonna add some more adjustments to this portrait so i'm gonna click here on the color lockup and i'm gonna choose some uh, lookups that i have in my photoshop that are default for example on this one i'm gonna click this uh, blending mode to the lighten and reduce it by i don't know by 90 percent now add some more adjustments for example again with a color lockup and i'm gonna check them one by one and see which one will fit this image and i think this one is okay but i'm gonna check the others uh let me find let me find them some other stuff and as i said this one was okay but i'm going to reduce it just a little by 25 maybe yeah something like that and here we have our before and after what we've done so uh, right now i'm done with the adjustments so i'm gonna create a group or just merge layers into a single one here we have a before and after you can zoom in so here's before and after which is looking okay and one more thing that i'm going to add into this image i'm gonna play some uh color grade actions that i have on my of my own sorry i'm gonna click here on the color grade that says light skin and i'm gonna check them one by one until i find my best color grade for this image and i think that i'm gonna stick with the a7 which is looking really good into this image so here we have a before and after so here we have a before and after again here's the backdrop the backdrop with the subject and everything else with more color grade so for example if you want to check a before and after as you can see here we have our before and here is our after you can zoom in and check a before and after again of the backdrop so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial please don't forget to check as i said at the beginning don't forget to check the links in the description because you will find this uh, model image you will find that digital backdrops that i have created that that are a bunch of them in my etsy store leave some comments down below let me know if i'm understandable or not and see you guys in the next one peace